Welcome. Today we will have again a closer look at the so-called DAX, so the decentralized exchange. So the first thing you need to understand is that you can mul use multiple clients to use the DAX. So you can use either the DAX using XRP Toolkit, which, which what I currently prefer. You can use uh, also the Sum app to, uh, to use the DAX. So in this case, you can just go to Sum and also interact with the DAX. So it's in all cases you're talking to the same decentralized exchange because the decentralized exchange lives on the XRP ledger, meaning it doesn't matter if you do it over the XRP toolkit or over uh, the over the um, that, over the Sum app. Or you could also, for example, use another uh, decentralized exchange called um, Sorogenic. So this is another client over there. If you just click on access DAX there, you can also use this DAX if you prefer if you prefer that one here. So you can just skip that here and click on get started. Because the only thing we have to do here is also just to click on connect wallet, click on the right uh, interaction method. So if you want to use a ledger, a decent wallet or a solo wallet. In this case, I'm going to use um, some again. So I'm going to cheat here a little. No, no, I'm just going to scan it with a phone quickly. So you just scan it with your phone and then sign the transaction. Um, so this is going to take me a few seconds. So I'm just going to scan and sign. Okay. And now I'm more or less also here locked in. And I can, for example, buy with uh, uh, solo uh, so for example, the solo token. So right now I'm exchanging XRP for solo. So I want to buy some solo token. I would pay 0 .0, uh, 0 0.03 XRP for that. And I'm just going to click on place order and confirm that. And now you have to sign that one here in the in on your in the sum app because right now that's my connection method. If you would have used anything else, this is just right now just still loading. Well, I'm going to use my phone then. Um, so I will sign that. Okay, right. So it's showing up here, but it actually should show up here as well. Okay. I'm just going to wait a second. Um, yeah, I'm going to. Uh, so you just go to your phone and sign the transaction. So right now I'm doing it on my uh, on the actu actual phone. Um, and after signing it, the transaction is submitted. And right now, and right now, I just bought some uh, solo token. So there, there we go. And at some point, I should have gotten now more solo token. I just go again to okay. Well, I'm going to start it here later. I'm just going to go to summer for now and see if it has gone through. And we can see here I created the offer. We can also see that I now have 0 0.1 solo token, but I think I had them before because right now the offer is just open, it's not done yet. So the offer is just created, yeah. So probably if you look at the. Ah, no, it should. No, that one was already done. So we can see here I don't have any open orders, so it should have uh, been successful. All right. And that's, that's here, so Janik, like I said, you can look at any trading pair. If you want to use any trading pair which is not being listed, here you can just go to solo and then click on counter and then uh, uh, use a custom issuer. So if you want to trade any tokens here, then you enter the issuing address and then the currency and click on confirm. Uh, right, so that's that's Sologenic. So as you can see here, you can just use it there. You can, if they have some uh, some initial trading pairs, you can obviously just favorite them and go to the favorites then and trade it. And all of that's happening over the decentralized exchange on the extra pleasure. All right, so they've also uh, they've also got some charting tools apparently, cool, which you can also use. So uh, from a chart perspective, I guess, uh, Sologenic is the most advanced DEX current on the extra pleasure. Um, for also can use for trading another client called the XRP Toolkit. So if you want to use that one, you just click on connect and click on connect sum. So in this case, I will do it differently so I can use it then. I'm just going to remove that part here and copy that. So now I'm going to all open it in the sum app because I actually want to um, get the notification here so you can see my screen when I'm doing the signing. So now I'm just going to open it in the sum app and enter my super secret password and sign. Uh, and have to enter the password again. There we go. Okay. So now I um, yeah logged in into my sum app, and now I can also go again. So you can see you've got tokens, 
Uh, and in order to add an asset, you just can click on add asset. So adding an asset is setting a trust line and you can add any asset you want to trade. So you have to add them beforehand. Also, you probably have been already, some of you familiar with uh, setting trust lines uh, with all the airdrops and stuff like that. Uh, then you can just go to trade and just select the trading pair. If you click on that, then you can select the trading pair. For example, you want to trade XOP to US dollars or XOP to euros and click on that. And then you can see the market. So here you can see what, what the buy and sell orders are currently. We can see that there's, a, there's an order of 3,800 uh, 3,800 who want to buy, so, uh, oh, sorry, who want to sell XOP at the price of one euro and four. And we've got somebody who wants to buy XOP, uh, somebody who wants to buy XOP, so 255 XOP, somebody who wants to buy 255 XOP for a price of 1.0056. And right now we have a spread here. So the difference between this, uh, where somebody wants to sell and somebody wants to buy is called the spread. Because if I would right now buy XOP, I would buy them from the seller here for a price of 1.01 euro. But if I want to sell it, I can only sell it for 1.056, even though nobody's trading it. And so you, so what you want is a small spread. Okay, so that's 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 the deal behind that. And yeah, so generally speaking, you can just do market orders. So you could, for example, buy 0 0.04 um, XOP and pay with euro, or I could sell some XOP in order to get euros. So I could sell 0 0.15, 0 0.15 XOP, and I would get 0 0.1478 euros. Then I can again have to sign the sign the uh, order, uh, offer amount, and I just click on sign request. I can see here, I am right now selling 0 0.15 XOP. I would get, get 0 0.1478 euros, and the issue fee is 0 0.2%. Then I just sign that, and now the transaction is being submitted to the Excel Ledger and the offer so since it says confirm has confirmed and now my my balance of euro has increased so we can see here that one is not gray so we can see that one is not gray so this one has been fulfilled the other one has not been fulfilled so that one the offer is open but not done yet so if we have a look here um right so if you have a look at my tokens then go to euro you can see that my euros are right now at 0 0.19 euros and yeah that's how you can use the XOP toolkit to trade there so also what i'm going to mention is that um you can like i said select here the trading pair and you've got two ways of doing orders you can either do a market order meaning that you buy at the current market price so that it automatically fills in how much you get or you can do a do a, a buy limit order, a sell limit order. It, it, you define, okay, I'm willing to buy 10 XOP at the price of two euros. Oh, well, uh, at the price of one euro, for example. Then I would be paying 10 euros and I would receive, uh, yeah, 10 XOP when that order is being filled. Uh, if there are uh, tokens out there which have not much liquidity in them, uh, uh, well, because they're just small market orders, then you have to use buy, uh, well, limit buy and sell orders in order to fulfill those because otherwise the market orders would fail. And just a small side fact. And uh, yeah, that's how you can use the XOP toolkit to, uh, to, to, um, well, to use or leverage the decentralized exchange on the XOP ledger. Um, also, there is our, well, report part, I think that's the website name. Uh, where is it? XOP, oh my bad, XOP charts is ripple.com. So here you can also see how much liquidity is in each market. So there's certain, so if you have a look at the DAX here, XOP ledger trade volume, we have a look at that one here. You can see the trading pairs which have the most liquidity. So if you, for example, trade XOP to US dollars, you get a good price. Or XOP to US dollars, so we've got two different issues here. On one hand, we've got Bitstamp, on the other hand, we've got GateHub. If you trade those, you are running better. For example, if I have here euros, you can see the spread, for example, for euros, now not that high anymore, but the liquidity is a little bit, is not that good uh, for the XRP euro trading pair. But if you would, for example, use the XRP uh, USD Bitstamp trading pair, then you can see that the spread is much lower. So the spread is 0 0.0089. So the spread is like super low. So, yep, that's generally speaking everything I have to say. So right now, um, you can either use the XOP Toolkit for, for more advanced orders, or you can use Sologenic, 
also with the same thing. So you can do market or limit orders. And the functionality is more or less the same here, but the interface is a little bit nicer here. And you can also use the graphs better. So you can see, have a close look at the graphs and so on. And you've got also some charting tools here. Um, and the third option is you can use the DAX in the sum app. So you can just go onto any token, uh, uh, for example, again, your, you can click on exchange and right now it could exchange. Uh, I can click on switch. I'm willing to give away 0.19 euros. And then it would uh, tell me how much I would get in, uh, well, what I would get in exchange for that. But it doesn't seem to be loading. I'm going to try it again. Okay, exchange again. Ah, come on. <laughs> okay, that's, that's interesting. Yeah. So I'm just going to try any other assets for now then. How about I'm going to try gold. Well, it's, yeah, okay, for example, gold. So right now I could, for example, sell 0 0.02 gold and uh, so the other way, I could sell some of gold. So I've got 0 0.002 grams of gold here. And I would get in exchange 0 0.194 XRP. But uh, sometimes if there's not enough liquidity in there, then you can use the sum map because the sum map executes market orders. And then it's going to say the price difference between selling and buying is too high, so you can't use it. So that's when you have to uh, use XRP Toolkit or Solgenic. Okay, so that's the only problem. So if you use assets with a, which have li high liquidity, then if no problem, you can just use the, just click on exchange and do it directly here if the price would load for that. Uh, for some reason, it's not loading. Well, I'm going to use the Bitstamp yes dollar then. But it's also loading. So right now it's just bugging with phone, I guess. And yeah, that one works. So if I would, for example, sell some of my US dollars, I'm selling 0 0.06 US dollars, and I would get, it's loading again. All right, I would get 0 0.051 XRP. I can click on exchange. Then I can say, yep, I'm sure. And then have to sign that. And after doing that, I'm right next changing some of my, bit, uh, some of my um, bit stamp US dollars into XOP. And now my balance of XOP has increased, as you can see here. All right, so now my XOP balance has been increased. All right, so one last thing I'm going to show you is GateUp has an X app called, called GateUp Trade. So you can just click on that if you have it, um, or I was going to paste the link. You just have to Google it and then click on the app. Then you can also have it in a nicer overview and also can then you can also do buy and sell orders. So buy and sell limit orders. This one only offers buy and sell limit orders. The only advantage of here you can let it fill the percentages automatically in. So for example, if you want to buy one XRP and just click 50%, it automatically calcul calculates it. All right, so that's it for this video. I hope you've learned something. I hope I made everything clear regarding your decks. And yeah, that's it. So thanks for watching and see you in the next one.